Now let's talk about the secret German footballer <laughs> who Arsenal already have booked a cab for and are ready for him as soon as Germany are knocked out the Euros. I think they're going to win it, by the way. OK, let's tell you what's going on. It's got to be Musiala, isn't it? I, I think it must be. <laughs> uh, or Podolski. I mean, I... Um, <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> We talked about this and joked a week ago, like a week ago, a TikTok went viral that it was a car, what would you car call it? Salesman. Car salesman, car yeah. hire place. Yeah. And the guy was on the phone to a supposed agent or someone involved in the deal saying, once the Euros is done, my client's going to need a car. And they think it was to Arsenal because the way it was bleeped out, whatever. Now, everyone saw that and laughed and thought, my word, from... ESAC number plates to agents on the phone to tracking flights. I mean, we'll do anything to get transfer news, won't we? But <laughs> we can Two ITKs, not official reporters, but ITKs, have actually seemed to confirm that there's something in this German footballer thing. Now, you mentioned Jeff Arsenal, who, while I'm not personally familiar with his work, I think over 10 years, I think, has been someone who has been quite reliable. Yeah, in no, he's, space. he's, yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's, a. Uh... He's he's quite good at rumours, man. Yeah. You know what? He's not a guy that will jump on something that's fake. Fair enough. So well, he, he, might, actually, he, he, might, he might have heard something. Well, let me give you his exact reply because he was replying to uh, Elliot from Arsenal Vision. And I've just... Let me find it. I will find what he said. But um, also Team News and Ticks, who's always very reliable with Team News and stuff and with the Rice Saga last year, was very reliable. They're saying that Look, they don't have a name, and if there is something going on, Arsenal are keeping it very, very quiet. But they've been told that there is some truth to Arsenal looking at a German international. Who could it be? People are saying Julian Draxler. Musiala or, or Kimmich. Musiala. Nicholas Fulkrug. Could it be him? You need a striker. He's a bit older, isn't he? But maybe. Um, it ain't Musiala. So... Here are the rumours. By the way, here's what Jeff Arsenal did say. I've got it here. A, German, a certain German international might, quote marks, be on his way, boss, if that helps. Remember the last time I said that it nearly broke the Arsenal interweb. Hashtag blimey. That's what he put. Anyway, um, look, it's no one, like, in terms of, like, the papers or whatever has talked about this. But it's a rumour doing the rounds on social, so we'll explore it. If we were signing a German international... Who could it be? There's Joshua Kimmich, who actually has been widely reported, does want to leave, and Arsenal are one of the clubs he'd consider. There's Jamal Musiala, who hasn't <laughs> signed a contract extension with Bayern Munich, and reportedly isn't really close has to him. Has he only got a year not. left? 2026. So no, it's, not, it's not him, man. Would it, I don't think so either, but this would be the summer to get value, because from next summer you're into the whole well, last year of your contract thing. You've so got, you've got about 130 million. It, it would be extremely no. expensive, and would Arsenal get Especially him? After we'll the talk Euros about that. Go. The other player is Leroy Sane. When you think no. that they want to sign Xavi Simmons, they are signing Michael Elise, yeah. they've been linked with that Douai guy. He's so, the one that I thought, it must be him, if, if, if he's the one I'm thinking. Who? Leroy, Leroy Sane. Sane. Oh. oh. And he plays right wing, though. No? Right, uh, uh, well, Sane, yeah, right, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So, what, what do you worry, you, Robbie, with this? I mean, you, you would have seen all this, and you'd have chosen yeah. whether to run with the TikTok story or transfer. Data. I was thinking, who it could it be? And that's yeah. exactly what I thought. I go, it can only be who I can think of. I mean, I didn't think of Full Krug, mm. and maybe I shout, but I was Full Krug. Uh, it's late 20s. But it already seems like it's had a good season for Dortmund. That'd be Sander Berman, the case. Yeah, it doesn't seem Krug. like the sort of player, but. The way, the way I like to match it up it's is... their third-choice goalkeeper. <laughs> in it's in a position that we need. Yeah. And yes, we do need a striker. But and that's why I thought possibly if it is, this the rumour's got anything in it, it could be Sane because we do need a right winger. Sane was at City. Was it City when um, Arteta was there? Yeah, I'm yeah. Not sure. yeah, I've yeah. to work with him. Right, so he's worked with him before. He's played in the Premier League before. And he could be back up. Very good backup to Saka. Do you think that Sane mm. would come back to England to be backup? He's got, no, he, because he'd, Cause that, I think that was one of the he's, reasons he's why he left City, City wasn't in, the past, in the past. But from my understanding, that was one of the reasons why he left City because he didn't think he was getting enough football. So to come back to England and then be, yeah, and to, I think to I be understood like to Saka. Like James said, if you buy Michael Elise and you're looking at buying Simons from 
Mm. Where, 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 yeah, I mean, you're talking about not, not get much game time. He ain't going to get no game time there, is he? Mm. And he's not, it's not gone the way he'd have wanted it, Bayern, no. as far as I'm aware. Again, I always say, Premier League football, I'm all eyes on it. But outside of that, I'm a little bit of a casual. And what I've been sort of hearing and seeing from the Sane perspective is he's not like exploded at Bayern in the way he would have hoped, no. I don't think. Mm. He's had injury um, issues there as well. He's not starting for Germany, I don't think. I think he might have started the last mm. game. I can't remember, but he, he does say he didn't start the opening game. So I'm really interested to see what happens with Leroy Sane. I mean, Turkish... Do you put any stock in this? I mean, you're as sceptical as it gets on the transfer front. <laughs> but do you put any stock in this? And more so, of the three, do you think any of them are attainable targets? There's reasons for Sane, there's reasons for Kimmich, mm-hmm. and there's reasons for Musiala if you really want to flex. And two years to go, you could test the, 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 the waters. It'd be a proper move from Arsenal, that. So, do I believe it, potentially? Not because of uh, that, 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 that TikTok reminded me of The Office or a clip, a clip from <laughs> Peep Show or something. Yeah. You know, more than... But I, I switched it off. I was like, what, what's going on here? It was like The Office. It was like The Office. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not going to pay too much. But obviously, Jeff Arsenal, you are right with him. He mm. wouldn't really want to attach himself to something that's completely, you know, false. So that's interesting. And off the back of that, looking at the players that could... Like I just mentioned, those three players, Kimmich, Sane and Musiala, mm-hmm. I'd take any one of them. I'll take any two of the Would three. you take full Krug? Nah. No. How old's full Krug? You know? I, I'm not really sure. Oh, uh, yeah, but look, I think he's 30 or so. 30? Oh, yeah, I think he might be, but that's know. just... I might be wrong. Um, yeah, I, I would have any one of those three. I think every single one adds something to this team. Yeah. I think Kimmich, you know, you give the proper option to invert from right back. He can play in central midfield as a six. Sane, I think, is that devastating winger. I think Arteta will bring him back to life a bit and... As competition for both Saka and Martinelli, Musiala, what needs to be said, he's one of the most entertaining footballers on the planet. Um, how old is Fulker? 31. Yeah, there you no go. No chance. Yeah. Goretzka it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below, people. Who do you think it is? Oh, and actually, Could it be the goalkeeper? Le- Manuel Neuer. <laughs> no, the other one. Oh, uh, let's the other get one. another poll Sonny's going. Sonny's 28. Sonny. Yeah, I think he's still got th- four or five years at you know, a really good level. With mm. that explosive pace, Sonny. Let's get another poll going. So 74% of you have said oh, left back for uh, Calafiori. Tony, <laughs> Tony Cruz, Three as he's retiring. <laughs> one year. <laughs> one year deal. Um, the poll is, I'd have him for one year. mystery German, mid, uh, German player, who would you want the most? Kimmich, Sane, Musiala. I think I know the answer, but we'll ask you. Anyway, let's see. Verts would be special, man. Verts would be special. For yeah, that's another name. Yeah. I'd, I'd love I love Florian Ooh, Verts. That'd yeah, that'd be special. And I, I think we need him as well. We need all of them. Anyway, um, go on, let's move on to some other stories and stuff.